I'd been looking for a way to synchronize my settings in Adobe Animate and say bring it over to another computer and bring in those settings like uh, where my palettes are, where my tools are. For example, I always like my toolbar to be over here and customize it. And right now, like the uh, tool, the sub selection tools underneath the selection tool. So sometimes I'll go through and, and uh, modify this and edit it so that I can have certain tools that I'm always using in the way that I want them set up. So I can customize that. I'm customizing the toolbar just for an example and bring those tools over here. And then I also like my transform panel. When it, usually when I'm editing, I'll use that uh, transform panel quite often. So I'll bring it over here and, and have it undocked and I can move other things around. But when you do that, if you go to another workstation or another computer where you're using Adobe Animate, you'll have to kind of go through and reset those things. There is this workspaces, the workspaces area if you select one of these, you can kind of change to a different workspace. But what you can also do is enter a name for your specific workspace. So I'm going to call this Stevens workspace, right? And that saves it as my workspace. It, it's a custom workspace, just like these, you could go back and change it to animator or uh, essentials is sort of the default. I can go back to Steven's workspace. I can reset that. I can delete it. I can reset it. But uh, one of the cool things is that I can actually come over here and go to the animate menu and go to preferences. And it says import and export preferences. So if I export preferences, I can actually save this as a file. And it actually asks which workspace. It says all, but really right now all I have is Steven's workspace. It just saves any kind of custom ones. So if all is selected, it chooses that. And in the application settings, it also will save any kind of keyword shortcuts that I created and saved. So if I export that, and I'm going to save that as a file, I'll just all settings, or I can just call it Steven's settings. and save. If I go to animate preferences and import preferences, I can then select that file and open. And it's going to bring all those settings in. It'll have my custom workspace. So if I ended up deleting it, if uh, and there it has where what my workspaces are. And if I go ahead and import it, it's going to bring that in and it can set up my workspace. Now it duplicated it because I had it in there before. If I actually ended up removing both of those, delete it, and then if I go and go down and I'm gonna delete this one, I can set that one, go back and delete it. I can remove that. It's gonna ask me if I wanna delete it again. And then I go back, it doesn't have any of those. So, and it reset the workspace back to essentials. You notice my transform panel is back where it was my toolbox. So again, animate the animate menu, preferences, import preferences. I'm going to find those preferences that I saved open. It's going to actually ask me if I want to import those preferences. Click import, brings it in. And my transform panels over here. And my tool panels is right here. So it's kind of a cool little trick.